Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they haven't seen it yet. <laughs> <They're not. laughs> Sorry. Don't tell them how it ends. Don't tell them how it ends. Oh. So, so, everyone knows in this room now that Bodyguards and Assassins was regarded as a cursed production. Yes, in right. Hong. Yes, right. Were you worried at all when you were cast that it would fall apart or uh, some problem? Uh, actually, we have uh, like, uh, some uh, different kinds of movies. We have some formula movies like photographs movies because. Well, the big budget film, we do. of course, we need to get some from uh, get some investor from China. That's why you can get a lot of money to make a podcast movie because it's a huge, huge uh, uh, investment. But at the same time, we need some films like Echoes of Rainbow, which is a very low budget film. But we're talking about a very localized film. I mean, those movies it's good for the audience to have a choice for the audience. To have uh, different kinds of choices. Uh, of course, bodyguard, they have a big star, they have everything, but it's a lot of like patterns, movies, like a lot of movies. But the echoes of rainbows, like uh, both, both, uh, I love it. Both movies, I love it. Of course, I mean, I mean, with me, I want to be like a lot of audience from the from the movies. Of course, I love to have some local movies that feel very touching. Uh, one is a lot of uh, bullet, a lot of fight, but another one without bullet. But still, both movies can touch in your heart. So, in Bodyguards and Assassins, yeah. uh, how long were, did you get cast and then have to wait a long time? Uh, no, 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 actually, actually, um, actually uh, Peter Chan is a very creative director. Right? He just called me up with some, you know, I want to, I want you to come for three days or for four days uh, because the new girl, she, your, your daughter is from China, she's a singer, she's the first time to get. But I need a guide to be uh, very patient, uh, very good heart, can take care of the girls. That's why I need to sign you. <laughs> and that's why I say, why not? Why not? So, okay, I apologize you because Peter is my good friend. And then, um, Actually, Peter all the work, I love all the Peter's chance to work before. I said, why not? I can come here for four days because I want to work with you. So I just sit four days. Actually, I finished with within three days. You know why? I fight by myself. I don't have any time. That's why we can save a lot of time. And then during the, the shooting period, I was so happy because the ladies, the youngest uh, singer, she, she's very popular in China, but she's just the first one. The first day, it's never happened before. So that, she's my daughter. So we, we do a lot of uh, uh, talking, and then they, uh, well, we do a lot of, uh, uh, think about the formula, how she uh, get involved into the acting. And you know what very, very simple things for communication? I tell her that you teach me Management. I teach you how to say ABC. <laughs> so we can more easily to communicate each other. So when she's facing uh, a person that she don't understand before, she never met before, so on the film, she looked great because we have a very uh, friendly talk, we have a friendly teaching and everything is good. So now your scenes, were they, because I know there were a lot of directors who helped out to get Bodyguards and Assassins yeah. finished. Were your scenes directed by Teddy Chan or by yeah, Teddy Chan? I was uh, that that part. I was uh, directed by Teddy Chan. Of course, we need uh, Andrew Lau to do another part because the, the whole film we shoot for like the four months, and I think it's very rushing and rushing because it's a lot of fight, a lot of fight. That's why we need to be a different uh, director to help each other. Um, and I guess I want to say so when you finally saw the completed bodyguards and yeah. like, a lot of people do feel like it's a local film. It's about Hong Kong, Hong Kong's history. But do you feel like it's a local film, like Echoes of the Rainbow is, or do you feel like it has some flavor of no, uh, no, I mean, I mean, this is a cooperative community with China, of course. That the main target, the main target is uh, for China, China market. So that one is the main target target for China market. The Echoes of Rainbow is the only the Hong Kong film. Echoes of Rainbow is only target for Hong Kong. So. Uh, Actually, there's a lot of uh, um, uh, films like uh, in Hollywood. We have uh, Afanda for the whole world. We've got a very good box office for the whole world. This is what we call 
uh, our father movies. But we need Woody Allen from Manhattan. <laughs> but this is the same. So Woody Allen movies represent what the culture, the history of Manhattan. And Abada is all around the world. So we need the uh, Woody Allen and we need Abada at the same time to give the audience to have a different kind of choices. So this is, can be said that uh, bodyguard and uh, echoes of rainbow can, can represent this is for the whole world and this is for history, for the culture. I hope and love. We're going to take one question from the audience. If anyone's got a burning question on their mind, and then we're going to start the film. Anyone? Burning, eating you alive, you've got to know the answer. No? Great. Okay, we're going to start the film. You know everything already. Cool. Great, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go right to the bodyguards. This has a big hand for you. <laughs>